A quick video here to demonstrate the concept of using URL schemes from within FileMaker Go to communicate with other iOS apps. So a URL scheme is a syntax of a URL that will allow certain apps on iOS to communicate or send commands to other apps. So for example, I've got a FileMaker Go file here that's um, open inside the FileMaker Go app. And I've created a calculation. You can see the result of the calculation at the bottom of the screen that will uh, construct the URL string that you see displayed on the bottom. Now, you might not be familiar with this URL if it's something that has an HTTP in front of it. The whole point with URL schemes is that uh, each app has its own scheme. That's the part that comes before the colon. So you see on the bottom here, I've got mail to uh, FileMaker. Uh, Go can then send this command. Uh, the, po the parameters, by the way, are populated by the fields that you see on the top of the screen. So when I type a value inside email at example, it will then uh, populate that string. Now, for the sake of uh, demonstration, I've also added a single script step. That's what makes this work, a single script step to the button on the bottom of the screen, and that script step is open URL. So when I hit the button on the bottom of the screen, it sends an open URL script step, uh, and the URL that it uses is the string that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen. So the purpose of this is that I want to show you how you can take data that's inside FileMaker fields and use those to construct commands to speak to other iOS apps. In this case, we're talking about mail. The other thing that's kind of interesting is I'm going to demonstrate this in a split screen mode. So here we have mail on the right side, and I'm going to hit the button on the bottom of the screen in FileMaker. And you see that it's gone ahead and opened up a new mail, uh, an outgoing mail with the all the information populated appropriately, uh, including the subject and the body. And all that stuff can be uh, calculated. So just an example of how this works. So we'll quit out of that. And I'm going to show you a couple other examples. Uh, so for example, the phone, we can dial a phone this way. And we can do FaceTime. In this case, uh, I just have a sample data, but just to kind of give you an idea what that looks like, um, I don't have an actual uh, FaceTime account to, to demo this with. So in SMS, we're going to do something kind of interesting here. Let's do a split screen, and we'll share the message app. So now what I'm going to do is hit the button on the bottom of the screen, and you see what it's done is it's uh, sending a message to the, uh, the number indicated there. Uh, if you do some research on the SMS URL scheme, you can also uh, put a message in there as well. Next, uh, I'd like to show you the mapping. There's a lot of different things you can do here. I'm going to show you how you can uh, search for a term on a map or a location on a map, search near a certain location, and get map directions. So first, let's do a search. And I'm going to go split screen here with the map app. And very simply put, on the bottom of the screen, I'm going to hit the button. And it does the search. And here it's showing me the closest Apple Store to my location. I can go to this other tab here. And you see I've got all sorts of different parameters that include uh, the transport type by car, foot, so on. The hybrid view, satellite view, transit view, all those are available to you and also the address that you're actually searching for. So in this case, what we're doing is I'm searching for Apple stores near one infinite loop. So I hit that button, and there happens to be an Apple store right at one infinite loop, and it zeroed me in on that in hybrid view. Of course, I could change that to, let's say, just standard view. Hit the button again, and you see how we can uh, change which uh, stored in the, uh, by just updating those parameters. Directions is pretty neat too. So here we're going to say from one address, the starting address, to another address by car in standard view. Let's go ahead and hit that button. And we can actually start the directions here, and it'll take us step by step through those directions. So I'll hit end, and let's do one more search. I'm going to just simply search for a certain location. This is pretty easy. Essentially plotting map points in here. I've used a calculation that if it detects latitude and longitude, it uses those. Otherwise, it just uses an address. So you see on the bottom, I'm using an address. And there it plots uh, the location. And finally, YouTube. See what happens when we go split screen, go to YouTube, search for a certain video, and it opens it up right inside 
our application. So this is a demonstration of URL schemes in FileMaker Go. The, all the information you need about the syntax of these schemes is a Google search away. So go check it out. Um, hope you enjoyed this demo. I think this is something that can really very easily add some uh, compelling features to your existing FileMaker Go applications.